Okay. Next book. All right. Amazing Spider-Man 361. 361, so the first appearance of, you guessed it, Carnage. And this is April 1992. And I definitely bought this off the shelf. Um, I'm kicking myself in the butt. Uh, I bought two of these and I, sh I thought about, you know what, I should buy maybe five or seven like I did with Spawn number one and other kind of comic books because I um, didn't know this character was just going to just go off the handle. But uh, definitely um, Amazing Spider-Man 361, Mark Bagley, of course, you know, we love Mark Bagley. First, first full appearance of Carnage, Cletus Cassidy. So I bought this for a dollar and I said, uh, I have two of them and I was thinking, okay, um, there are little, a couple little things here, 9.2, definitely after a quick press, I was thinking maybe a 9.4, 9.6, I doubt there'll be 9.8s, but uh, um, definitely an awesome book. Um, you really can't see any kind of tanning here because everything is brown on the back, but uh, wonderful cover love mark bagley and his work and at last the spawn of venom so without any further ado what do we get 9.4 okay 9.4 that's definitely fair so for one dollar i got this nice book put what 35 bucks in to get this graded and uh, 9.4 definitely good I believe in my book. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to be selling at least one of them, but when the movie comes out, it's probably gonna it's probably gonna blow up. So I probably should wait till then, right? But uh, all right, nine point four on Carnage. So I'm thinking the way it's going, the next one should probably be a Carnage number one because I have two of them. I sent them both in. Covered the carnage. Number one, because I have two of them, I sent them both in. And got to cover that. Try to be faster with this. Okay. So, yep, another 361. Of course, nicely centered. Nicely centered. This one didn't, this one doesn't even have any dings. Oh, there's something right here. It looks like. Actually, I think it's the comic book uh, machine that kind of rips through on the bottom. There's a couple of kind of odd little rips, I remember, but I believe that's um, our normal uh, defect of this kind of comic book from the 1992s because it's like the, uh, um, when it went through the machine, it kind of tears a little bit on the bottom of this comic book. But definitely 361, first appearance of Carnage. What do we get? 9.6 yes 9.6 so i was thinking maybe 9.9.4 9.6 um from these two um carnage first appearances i uh, you know it would have been bonus if i got a 9.8 of course all our comic books are 9.8 right so oops okay but yeah Nice, nice covers. Love that cover. Okay, right. let's go for the next one. Come on, Daredevil is probably easier to work with here. All right. Okay, oops. I gotta make sure I got covered all the way through. So it's a little bit of a number. Okay. So, this is Wolverine Limited series 1982 december 1982 number four so i decided to put this in um i'm not crazy about the cover um i've never opened this comic book up i never read it chris chris claremont story frank miller and uh um, i know this is uh part of the four part uh four book series of the wolverine limited from 1982 um the reason why i put this in is because the the cover looks I mean, 
actually the book looks awesome i just had to see if i got a 9.8 just for the fun of it um there's no really big signif significance of this so um, after the pressing i would think i would get a 9.8 for sure but that's just me but let's see what cgc says cgc says 9.6 9.6 okay that's okay okay i was hoping there's no tanning in the back the book is really nicely oh there's one little one little defect i see here little smattering okay two dings make it three three dings and in two places where the coloring is kind of kind of fading a little bit but uh i'm thinking well still a nice cover 9.6 i can't be upset about that definitely definitely blessed on that one oh by the way this this comic book i did buy for i believe let me see here yeah for 20 dollars about 15 years ago so um since i didn't get 9.8 i'm thinking i might have lost money on this one for sure i'm thinking just just based on the significance of this book but uh definitely was looking for 9.8 and gambled a little bit and did not make the cut, but that's okay. Okay, that's it. I mean, so far it's 9.4, so 9.8, and so far I just have one 9.8 in this is Secret War, so hopefully I get more than one 9.8 in this run. But let's go over it. Let's go for this one. All right. All right. Wolverine, Wolverine Limited Series number one. Okay, this is the one that I want. To be a 9.8 for sure um of course this is the awesome cover i just love this cover I've always as a, a young kid i've always um seen this cover in the shops and it always always you know growing up i was like i'm gonna get that comic book i i love wolverine i i want to get I, I definitely want to get his limited series and um um did buy this book for probably about $25 about 15 years ago. So um, the book was is looking awesome. I know there's one, oh, there's two dings. So when I sent this book in, I'm thinking it was a 9.2, 9.4. Please be a 9.8, please. And what the CGC say? I should look this way, 9.6, ah. It's okay. I'm okay. But this book looks awesome. I see two little, just little, they're not even, not even breaking color. Just two little nicks. I mean, I guess I can get it cleaned again. Not clean, but um, pressed. Even better, I guess. Um, by the way, these are all quick presses. So, of course, I, I went the cheap way. I paid eight bucks instead of the, the normal $40 that... Uh, They'll probably press it twice to make sure it gets done, but maybe this might be one of the ones I might get pressed again, especially the 300, the Amazing Spider-Man 300. But I bought this, yeah, 20, 25 bucks, and uh, definitely I will be showing you details about the fair, fair market value of these books and what I would have gotten if I put my funds into the S&P 500 index, because I'm also an investor too, right? Investment, comic books, definitely, but beautiful cover claremont story beautiful all right let's move along but definitely it's, it's been awesome i've been waiting like i told you i was waiting for these books since i sent them in april 27th or 21st and then finally got them back pretty much three months later or two and a half months all right so what is this all right, Amazing Spider-Man 301. So this is definitely the white cover. And it's the issues, Silver Sable, Silver Sable is back. And um, of course his appearance, it's just a, another beautiful cover right after the 300. And of course, Tom McFarlane goodness. And part of the Venom storyline. And I'm thinking, you see here, okay, before I pressed it, it was a 9.4, what I think it is. 
and I'm thinking at least a 9.6 if not a 9.8 so um, I know um, anything lower than a 9.8 uh, the book value is much lower of course Tom McFarland 1988 goodness and I bought this book for $10 10 roughly 10 to 12 bucks back 15 years ago and CGC says Nine point six. Okay, nine point six. Man, if I got that nine point eight, let me see here. Oi, ihole. Let me see. I don't see anything wrong with it. Okay, there's one ding. A ding and a half. 1.5 book is nicely centered I mean I some pages are exposed on this side here but it does look like a, it's a beautiful book um, oh I see maybe a little bit of the the back is black and it does have a couple of white little ticks right there if you can see it but 9.6 still still good I'm, I'm happy about it, but it's just, uh, gosh, that 9.8. So, so far, just one 9.8, mostly 9.6s. And, wow, I wonder why this, this package was heavy. It's like 20. What is this? Wolverine number one. When he finally got his own series, I was excited about it. Um, of course, I was very young then. Barely couldn't afford anything. Of course, didn't have a job but uh just a beautiful cover and i was excited when this came out back when what 19 yeah 1988 i know i didn't buy this cover off the shelf i know i didn't buy it. um bought it for ten dollars ten dollars probably back in the early 90s at least i bought this probably yeah at least in the 90s maybe five years after it came out um I missed this book, but yeah, it definitely a, um, let me see here, a six and CGC says, oh, 9.2. What's going on here? Nine point two. We must see other things that I don't see here. White pages. Is there something here? I'm not sure why it's a 9.2. I see a couple, two dings and that's about it. Is there something that break col breaks color? Oh, right here. Was that there already? Gosh, there's a crease right here on the corner. Right here. Was it there already? I gotta check. I took pictures, by the way. I took pictures of every comic book I sent in. So I'm gonna just validate this little corner here because I don't remember this corner. It does break a little bit of color and that's why it's a 9.2. But man, this is such... Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel. Of course, 50% of any proceeds of this channel goes to Christian ministries around the world. And if you need prayer, please leave a comment. Um, you don't even have to um, put what it is, but I'll just pray for you. And I just uh, wanted to thank you for watching.